we're at the Gathright Dam project here. Uh, we're at the most western edge of the Norfolk district. This area in Covington, being in the mountains, has had major issue with flooding. The rain that falls in the mountains above and would seep into the creeks and end up in the rivers below causing flooding. So in the mid-60s they started studies and started building this project and by 79 we were complete. We do inspections on the dam, uh, all the surrounding areas. Then we take that information if we see anything that, that needs repairs we start working on that to keep the project working smoothly for the community downstream so we can keep them safe. The folks we're working now here with the Philly district they uh, they are experts on the roping and the inspection of this type of structure and so we work with them so we have the best people doing the, the job for us. So the name of the game for rope access is efficiency um, especially when we're doing like a long bridge like this where it's we're doing the same thing over and over again. So we want to try and set up a system that is easy to move and repetitive so that we're not changing things up as we go along. It's just automatic, especially for these guys doing their climbing. So they're doing the same moves over and over again. For me, moving the ropes just makes everything go faster that way. Got him. Thank you, sir. You know, my coffee hadn't kicked in yet and I was struggling with a little bit with a little bit of rope management, basic skills. Right now, I've got two sets of ropes. I got descent and then I got ascent. And I think when I started ascending, I kept my descent rope to my right, which is just bad practice. And then, you know, you basically wanna simply keep everything over here. So that way when I do my transfer, I'm not tangled up. And then once I'm fully on my ascent, basically I can freely release these ropes and uh, not kind of be caught up in them. Okay, so yesterday we were inspecting the intake tower, which is part of the PI, periodic inspection of the dam, which is a dam safety function. Well, the, the remainder of the PI work is gonna be done by a multidisciplinary team. They're gonna look at every aspect of the dam, um, structural, mechanical, uh, geotechnical, um, probably be a civil engineer on the team. They're not just looking at the tower and the bridge, they're looking at the whole site, pretty much. <clears throat> so we were climbing on the tower basically because that part has never really been done before. Uh, a full hands-on inspection of the concrete. Uh, mainly what they were looking for on the tower was cracking, spalling, delaminations, typical concrete defects. All in all, it looked like it was in pretty decent condition. In the Corps of Engineers, there's actually a growing number of uh, climbers. So uh, when I started out, there was really only like two or three districts in the whole Corps that did this kind of work. And for our district, we have five large highway bridges. Um, so we are doing bridge inspections all the time, every year. And we've kind of spun that expertise into doing bridge inspections for other districts as well. The Corps of Engineers are solution driven. And uh, just like the dredging in the ports in Norfolk, we had a flooding issue. The Corps came in, built a dam to help with the flooding downstream and help keep our public safe. 